too young, so I'm losing my eyesight. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dance about strength, you know? <laughs> yes, it's that a dance so <laughs> when the, the, the boys dance it when they're just becoming men, when they're going through rites of passage. Right. That's when they'll dance that dance. <laughs> I asked this question before, but I'm going to ask it one more time here. Where do you find the largest number of pyramids in the world? <laughs> I've heard Egypt and I've heard Sudan. Any more? Any more? Mexico. If you say did Egypt... I hear, did I hear Ghana? Did someone say Ghana? Who says Ghana? We are I'm going sure to explain I heard someone say Ghana. <laughs> if you say Egypt, say yeah. If you say Egypt, the largest number of pyramids. Okay, and somebody shouted another country. Sudan. If you say Sudan, give me a yeah. Wow, I got news for you. The largest number of pyramids in the world is found in the largest country in Africa, Sudan. 220 pyramids and they're called the Moro pyramids and they're there in Sudan in Nubia okay and it's important we know these pyramids exist <laughs> Africa London and also hashtag London is open. This event is the preferred event for Black History Month by the Mayor of London, Zadi Khan. So it's yes. a privilege to be co-hosting this with you. Well, I tell you what, I've got one up as well. Did you know I've got a picture with the Mayor of London? Yes, I saw that. Where is that from? Oh, relax. I will show you later <laughs> on. Eh? A beautiful <laughs> photograph of the Cowfoot Prince with the Mayor of London. Yes. Why are you called the Cowfoot Prince? Wow, why am I called the Cowfoot Prince? Well, um, I am Fulani and the Fulani people are synonymous to cattle, to cows. And so it's about going back to my heritage, my identity. So, because I go back to who I am, and truly represent who I am, I become a prince. Prince in the sense of becoming successful, becoming uh, um, you know, prosperous in whatever I do. And indeed, when you really say you want to become successful, one of the first thing is to follow what even the Bible says, to thine own self, be true. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. being true to myself, as an African man, as a Fulani man, as a Kaufoots man, <laughs> I, like I am becoming a prince. I like that. Well, hey, storytelling is, uh, is, is, is really what we're all about, isn't it? And Africa epitomizes, you know, the storytelling um, tradition. And as we all hear now, we're all telling a story of London. Yeah. We're telling a story of London, of you from Ghana, now a British uh, um, citizen here, 40 years, here I am. 30 years in Britain and so is every one of us here telling that wonderful story um, that is. <laughs> They're out there, but we can't hear them. <laughs> they need some fufu. Aha! Uh -huh. Fufu, pounded yam, all of that. No, I think I'm going to have some kinky. Oh, you know my, my food. You Sierra Leoneans. Of course. <laughs> we take all the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. 
Kenke. We don't have Kenke today. We don't have Banku today either. But I know we've got some wonderful food out there. Well, definitely. Um, I just wonder how many people here, if you've never tried any African food before. Yes, jollof. Get some there. what? Jollof. Some jollof rice. The Sierra Leonean one, yeah? Not the Ghanaian one. <laughs> No, the Ghanaian one. She said anyone will do. Anyone. The Ghanaian no, no. one is photocopy. <laughs> the Sierra Leonean one is original. <laughs>